Poverty has always been a problem. Even in the most wealthy countries, poverty still exists. Almost 15% of Americans struggle to put food on the table. That is more than 48 million Americans. But 10.4 million of them are considered the working poor. These people are either looking for work or are working, but still fall below the poverty line. To give you an idea of what being below the poverty line is like, the official poverty line is about 11,000 for an individual, or about 23,000 for a family of four. Yet the annual income of an average American family is about 50,000. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics found in 2009 that the average American spent about $6,500 annually on food. Basic utilities like water, electricity, and housing increased that to about $23,000 annually. This doesn't even include things like health care, transportation, clothing, education, or taxes. Living in America is pretty expensive, so it's no wonder why people below the poverty line barely make it by. But why has poverty been on the rise in America in the past couple of years? One of the main reasons is the very low minimum wage. Each state has different standards for their minimum wage, but the federal minimum is $7.25 an hour, which has dropped about 30% since 1968, and that doesn't even adjust for the inflation that has occurred since then. $1 in 1968 is worth about $7 now. As of June 6th, Obama wants to increase the federal minimum wage to at least $9 an hour and index it to inflation so that it will rise when living costs increase. Another reason was the recession between 2007 and 2008. The recession was caused by many factors, including real estate bubbles, where housing prices increased until no one was buying houses, which led to a decrease in property value. People with mortgages could only sell for less than their mortgage, so they had to foreclose. All these foreclosures panicked the banks, which were losing a ton of money from this. All this led to the $700 billion bailout and the bankruptcy of many large companies, causing the loss of millions of jobs. 60% of middle wage jobs were lost during the recession. These people were so desperate to get a job that they would take a minimum wage job. Nearly 40% of the jobs created since the recession have been minimum wage. It is estimated that in the next 25 years, these workers will earn 11% less than similar workers who retain their jobs through the recession. Many families today are headed by a single parent. They are some of the worst off because they either have to pay for a full-time nanny or only work part-time. Many jobs offering adequate pay require long or irregular hours. For many single parents, this could mean using inexperienced care providers who are working long hours or supervising too many children. Approximately 53% of single mothers are not in the workforce because they are unable to find affordable childcare. Most of these mothers have no high school diploma, leaving them with few job opportunities or jobs that pay only the minimum wage. Parents with two or more children often have little money left after paying taxes and childcare. This means single parents must stay home and apply for public assistance to get the basic housing, food, and medical coverage for their children. The reasons I just explained are only a few of the more major reasons for poverty in the United States. Though the government is trying to help, I think that they need to do a few things to be more effective. For one, they should make education more affordable. Most studies find a strong correlation between education and income. This chart shows this correlation. In almost all cases, the more education you have, the more you get paid for your job. Two, they should raise taxes for the wealthy. I know we shouldn't blame them for being wealthy, but I know they could spare a little more than they are. And three, they should raise the minimum wage. Companies are just taking advantage of how low it is. America still has a very long way to go to get rid of poverty, but I think we can get it lower than 15% if a couple things were changed.